there for today's video we are going to be going over text features go ahead and say the word with me text features great job text features authors choose text features to help explain ideas or to help readers locate information so whenever you come across a table of contents that lets us through your know hey that um this page right here is giving us information where we can find different things um Bold text lets us re reader know, hey, that word that we're seeing, it's important. Or a diagram helps the reader explain what we're reading about and gives us an idea, a visual, okay? So whenever you see text features, remember, they're there to help us, the reader, to better understand the information we are reading, okay? So let's go ahead and go over these um, four different text features. Most of them will be a review, and then there's going to be one that is new. Okay. Words in bold text are darker than other words. It means they are important. Do you see the example right here? See how this is darker, these two? They're meant to stand out. Let us, the reader, know, hey, that word's important. Um, also, when you see bold text, that also lets us know that most of, the, most of the time, not all the time, most of the time you can find that bold text in the back of the book, in the glossary, and find out what the meaning or the definition of that word is. So, bold text. Bigger text is usually important, more important than smaller text. Usually you'll see bigger text for the heading. It lets us re reader know, hey, pay attention to this. Labels. Labels name parts of a picture. So here's a drawing of a tree. Here's the label, it says leaf, and here's a label that says trunk. Sometimes labels will have arrows, and sometimes they, they won't. That um, It does not have to have a arrow to be a label, all right? And then here's the new text feature, italic text. Go ahead and say that with me, italic text. Italic text is leaning to the right. It means pay attention or read with more feeling, okay? So here's an example of italic text. Text that is slanted to make it stand, stand out as important. So what I would like to do right now is Go ahead and take a moment and go through um, some different informational books to see if we can't find any of these text features in there, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Hi there. Okay, so here um, I have this book titled, What is a Shark? Notice this bigger text it's standing out from the rest of the text. Right here again, bigger text. Here is a bold word, gills, and then here is a label. This is another way a label um, can be presented. See how here's the word, and then here's a, um, a line with a circle showing us to read what a gill is, okay? So that's labels, that is bold word, bold words, and on this last page, bigger text. So we still need to find um, italic text, which I don't think it's it, there's any examples in this book, but I do wanna show you something. See this bold word right here, how it's darker than the rest and it's bigger? more labels, fins, another bold word. Well, what I want to show you is I told you um, that sometimes those bold, um, bold text will be at the um, end of a book in the glossary. So remember we saw fins and we saw gills and I told you in the glossary, it'll tell you what it, those words mean. So fins, fins are the body parts that fish use to help them swim and turn, gills. Gills are the body parts that fish use to breathe. So remember, most of the time when you see those um, bold text or bold words, they'll be at the end of the book in the glossary. And if you want to know what those words mean, just go to the glossary and look up those words. And then bigger text, you'll usually see, see this, as the heading. It stands out letting you know, hey, that's important, pay attention. And then labels help um, explain the parts of a picture. So shark egg. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can't find an example of italic text. Okay, so in this book, Amelia Earhart, a Aviation Pioneer, um, the headings, which stand out, their bigger text, is also italic text. Do you see how it's slanted to the right? It lets us through know, hey, that's important, pay attention, so right here. Right there. And see how the rest of the, um, the text is just straight, and then the um, headings are slanted a little bit. Okay, so that's an example of um, italic text. 
let's go ahead and go back to our poster and um, go over the poster one more time and then talk about biography. All right, text features. I hope you enjoyed going over these different text features. Like I said, I know bold text, bigger text, and labels um, we've gone over before, but today our new one is what? Italic text. So um, right here, I wanna actually show you my example. This is not only an example of italic text. Do you see how it's um, slanted to the right? Watch, I can make it unitalic. Italic. And then it's also um, bold text, meaning it stands out. See how it's darker? Then if I don't want it to be darker, see? Different examples. Then if I want it to be bigger, do you see the difference? Okay, so I just wanted to show you that little example of um, bold text, bigger text, and italic text. So remember, te text features. Authors choose text features to help explain ideas or to help readers locate information. So they're very helpful whenever we're reading informational books. So um, today, whenever I'm reading um, a biography, I want you to think of all the text features we have gone over. We've gone over um, maps, diagrams, labels, bigger text, bold text, now italic text, I know it's a lot. Um, we've gone over, let's see, photographs, artwork, drawings, um, let's see, what else? Headings, captions, I'm not sure if it's a table of contents, but that one as well. And if you see any of those text features that we've ever covered, I want you to give yourself a little thumbs up whenever I'm doing the read aloud later. Just every time you see one, you don't have to make a big deal about it. Just a little thumbs up to yourself. Oh yeah, I know that's a text feature, okay? It's kind of like a little review. You're... All right, let's quickly go over um, biography. Now this is just a review since we've gone over this every day this week. Um, today's read aloud will be of course over biography. Remember, a biography tells about the life of a real person, okay? Not a made up person, a real person. We are going to be reading about why the person is important, events from the person's life, information about where the person lived, worked, and traveled, and then ways the person made a difference in the world, all right? So everyone go ahead and say this, say this word with me, biography. Good job. Sometimes biographies have photographs taken with cameras, and sometimes they don't. They just have artwork that was drawn, okay? Sometimes they have both. Um, in today's, in today's biography, I believe it has a photograph. So um, we also might see events in order from the earliest to latest. So you might see um, and read about that person's childhood to when they're a little bit older until when they're an adult. Sometimes we'll see a timeline at the end of the book. Okay, so that is what a biography is. Let's go ahead and go over these um, these three words that are very important when we think of biography. Biography, a type of writing that tells about the life of a real person. So we've gone over uh, Amelia Earhart, Mr. Rogers, Pele. Um, let's see which one else. Oh, we went over Gabrielle Mistral. Let's see. We've read a couple of different ones. I know you've read um, one with Helen Keller. I know in the past we've read one about Martin Luther King Jr. and George Washington. I'm not sure if we've read one about Abraham Lincoln, though. Um, so that's what a biography is. It tells the life of a real person. Then we have genre. Go ahead and say the word genre. Good job. Genre, a type of writing, such as fiction, informational text, opinion writing, biography, fantasy, fable, fairy tale, just different types of writing. And then nonfiction, a type of writing that gives facts about a topic. So you'll be learning real information. And remember, topics can be over people or things. This week, our topic is over real people, right? Okay, so that's biography. And remember, whenever we're doing text features later, if you notice any text features throughout the uh, read aloud, like photographs, give yourself a little thumbs up, okay? All right, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, little lesson.